What's up guys? Today I wanted to make another video of this Astorp. Yes, uh, the action still sucks on it. So what I decided to do, we're still 132nd over. It's always like 132nd over. So 132nd from the 12th fret means I got to come down another 16th of an inch overall from the 12th fret down to the saddle. So I marked that out and after you file this so far, you know, you, you just can't do it no more. So what this is, is a flaring tool. You can pick it up at Harbor Freight. I made mine back when I was going to school to be a machinist. So what you'll do is you'll scribe the line. And let's see what side this is on. There, you can see that. Just put it in. Tighten it up. And then go back and forth you got a nice square finish because this is square to the table to the sandpaper now what we're gonna have to do over on the guitar since we ha if you have four degrees of a break angle you're good any less than that which I'm gonna have less than four degrees now we're gonna have to slot these holes you're gonna have to bring them back and the easiest way I could say this is on an angle so you wanna measure maybe 3 16 away from this slot back and the same from this part of the slot back 3 16 of an inch just kinda scribe a light line with a pencil or something and then we're gonna take our saws and if you haven't seen the pinhole saws, uh, now's a good time to go check that video out. And first, second, third string uses the thin 28 thousandths of an inch. Fourth, fifth, and sixth string uses the jigsaw blade, which is 51 thousandths of an inch. And then we're going to have to kind of round that out because we are at 53 thousandths of an inch because we're using 12 to 53 on uh, this guitar okay so from the distance here to here I went one quarter of an inch and here to here one quarter of an inch the lines from the strings hopefully you can see it are already marked so I drew a line up to here and so forth Here's the hacksaw blade, so that one is going to go on string one, two, and three, and we're going to go, we're going to start it by going in this way, and then what you want to do is make a 45 degree angle, and then kind of round that so the string has a nice break angle. Then we're going to take the jigsaw one and do the same from four five six this way and this way and what I would recommend is use the thinner one for all of them and then come in with the heavier one on four five and six okay so you can see how far I came in on a 90 degree angle now we're gonna start going on a 45 degree angle until we reach this line and we're gonna repeat the process okay so right there we're back and uh, you just simply continue cutting until you reach that line and we're about there now all we're gonna do is kind of take and round that over so it's not a sharp bend all right so if you can see this I took the saw and what you have to do because don't forget your strings are wrapped you're gonna have to get a better angle here kind of go in on an angle a little bit and widen each slot out so there's room for that ball end with the winding to come up through here and then have the string lay back here so if you look here they gradually follow that line low E to high E but they're all in line 
and then uh, you got the same angle on each one and that's gonna help the brake angle because like I said I was already kinda at the minimum brake angle because if you have a straight brake angle you're not gonna transfer the uh, vibration into this soundboard and this is the way you can extend these slots to get more of a break break angle now all I'm gonna do is take a little bit of ebony stain stain it put it on and hopefully this will be the last time I gotta sand the saddle because if not I don't know what else to do with it other than make a TikTok video and just smash it like Paul Stanley does honestly it's the worst guitar and I would highly highly recommend against getting one of these unless you're gonna play slide guitar because it's unplayable even at 760 forts it's just shit so just to give you an idea how big that saddle actually is it ain't much And when you look at it, there's nothing left there. I mean, it is done. And I'm not fucking resetting the neck or anything like that. Okay, so there you go. You can see how that is. And, you know, I don't even think I'm going to put any stain in it. Uh, what you might have to do, like I did this one here, is use the reamer. And I see this one isn't fit fitting down properly anyway. Okay, so we got her all done. And at this point, I don't even give a shit if it's stained or not, but there's the brake angle. That's the little bit of tiny saddle I have left. And up here at the 12th fret, I finally, finally got 230 seconds here. And I got 330 seconds over, if I'd stop shaking... <laughs> 330 seconds over there. Now, if this thing raises one more fucking time, catch me on TikTok because I'm going to play Paul fucking Stanley and I'm going to smash the motherfucker. Now, y'all might be wondering why I put myself through this. It's because when something's wrong, I work at it until I fix it. And until I can't fix it, I'm going to keep at it. It's just the way I am.